just going to run through the key points you must make if you're answering any question about shapes of molecules. So the first point you've got to make is the number and types of electron regions in the valence shell of the central atom. What do I mean by electron regions? Bonding regions, so single bonds, double bonds, triple bonds, coordinate bonds, they're all bonding regions. And the other type you can get are lone pairs. Second thing you've got to talk about is repulsion. So you've got to talk about repulsion. Is it equal or is it not equal? And if it's not equal, why not? So the, there's the repulsion order. So if you've got two lone pairs repelling each other, they have the greatest repulsion, followed by lone pair to bonding region, followed by bonding region to bonding region. And then obviously you'd finish off your answer with the associated shape and bond angle. I'm not going to go through all the combinations in this video. If you want me to make a video on that, I can do. Just let me know. Um, they might ask you for a diagram. And if they do, then you need to um, pop a diagram in your answer. So we'll look at a couple of examples now and put this into practice. So the first example will look like, imagine you're asked to give the shape and angle for the CH4 molecule and include a diagram as well. So the first thing I would always advise my students to do is draw a very simple little dot and cross diagram and then once you've done that you can see clearly the number of electron regions in that valence shell. So what have we got? We've got four electron regions in the valence shell and they're all bonding regions. So because there's no lone pairs to worry about the repulsion statement is just repulsion is equal. So what's the associated shape and angle for, for bonding regions? It's tetrahedral shape and 109.5 degree angle. And then the last thing you do is draw your diagram. I'll draw it now with the uh, camera running. So carbon in the middle, two bonds in the plane. Just make sure you show that it's a bit more than 90 degrees. Remember it's 109.5. So we'll put the H's on there. And then we've got a bond sticking out of the plane. So that's um, a sort of triangle or a wedge. You can leave it um, unshaded or shade it in if you want. And then the bond going behind is a dotted line. And then you can just pop that angle on there, 109.5 degrees. And that's it. We'll do one more. So the NH3 molecule, and we're going to include a diagram. So I've populated all my statements for the answer. So I'll run through that and then quickly draw the diagram. So there's my dot and cross diagram. So you can see there's four regions around the nitrogen, four electron regions, three bonding regions, one lone pair. Repulsion won't be equal, and that's because the lone pairs repel more. So that's the lone pair to bonding region. So this repulsion here is greater than the bonding region to bonding region. The shape associated with that is pyramidal and it's 107 degrees bond angle. Where's that coming from? So you've got four electron regions, 109.5 degrees, if they'd all been um, bonding regions. And then we take off two and a half degrees for the extra repulsion from that lone pair. So what's the shape going to be pyramidal? So it's based on a tetrahedron. So remember what we did before, we had two bonds in the plane. Well, we'll put hydrogen there and we'll make the lone pair the bond in the plane so that would have been a solid line if it was um, tetrahedral and then we've got a bond sticking out so the triangle or the wedge and then the dash line there and then obviously that h and h angle there is 107 degrees hope that was helpful